another video with Amir. Now in this video we're going to talk about uh, the specific details of this project that he's working on currently because he is literally doing all the work by himself and hiring a couple of sub trades. Amir, okay. how, how much did you purchase this property for? I purchased this property for three hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Three hundred. Oh my God! You even remember the, every penny? Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, how much did you invest so far? Like, how much renovations have you spent so, so far? So down payment, I had to put twenty percent. Mm -hmm. um, so that was about sixty sixty-six thousand dollars or so. Mm -hmm. uh, renovations. Uh, to be honest, to be yeah. honest, I stopped counting after two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> So now if I were to give a, a rough estimate as to how far, how deep I'm into this, mm -hmm. uh, we're probably around 300 and 300,000, a little, it's probably just, under mm -hmm. just shy of $300,000. Hmm. So you said it's 20% down. Was this like a six unit building before or is it like a eight unit from the beginning? Uh, this is actually a legal six unit building. Oh, okay. So that's why you got a residential mortgage on it or private? Private. private Ooh. Mortgage. How much is the interest on it? 10%. Hmm. So it's a first mortgage. It's a first mortgage for 10%. Yeah. That's good. So you're pretty much paying out of pocket every, every month. month. Yeah. Every month. I have been for the past 10 months. Yeah. Man, that's, that's freaking cool. So, um, what's your projections look like? Um, how, how much more renovations do you need on this project? So officially we are uh, fully tenanted. We have mm -hmm. all the leases signed. Um, in terms of finishing up, it's, it's just minor touch-ups, minor, mm -hmm. um, minor things like finish up the, the staircases that lead to each unit and mm -hmm. make them pretty and all that yeah but the all the electricals in the heating system is in mm -hmm. the, all the plumbing is in drywall mud everything is done everything is done so so everything did you do by yourself or did you hire other people um i'd like to say that i did mm -hmm. everything that my, myself mm -hmm. but no to be honest i i didn't do everything myself um i was actually working with a guy named rob mm -hmm. and um we were the we just honestly started tackling this project together it was just mm -hmm. me him and a friend of mine who also just joined in for a little bit mm -hmm. so essentially it was just me and him from the beginning and we just started from day one uh, march 5th 2019 on demolition wow. and yeah. yeah so um anything that you know unknown came up in this project yeah absolutely um unknown number one would probably be the the crazy amount of money that needed to be spent mm -hmm. on electrical, on plumbing, and a new heating system. Um, just just to heat this building alone costs forty thousand dollars. Wow! How much did you estimate for actually for renovations when you when you're buying this property? I said that there's no way that this building could go over two hundred thousand dollars in renovations. Wow. <laughs> I thought there was no way. There was no way that we could ever hit over two hundred thousand dollars, but. I was really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're already almost double that. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So would you be like doing the same project if you get another property? If I could do this again, if I could do this every year for the rest mm -hmm. of my life, I, wouldn't want, I would 100% do it every year. Hmm. I, love I, love I love that confidence. I love that confidence. If I so, could do this every single year with friends and enjoy it because, you know, at the end of the day, it is, it is a pleasurable thing to do. You're building a beautiful building yeah. from the ground up yeah. with your hands. It's a very human thing to do. So. Yes, I would, I would. I would do it every single year. That's <laughs> awesome. Huh? Uh, you said you already leased out all the rooms, right? So how much are the rents look like? Okay, so I put up the. Um, so for our one bedroom apartment, we got one thousand. Our two bedroom, mm -hmm. twelve hundred. Our larger two bedrooms, we mm -hmm. have four. Four of them. Two mm -hmm. of them are rented out for thirteen hundred plus, mm -hmm. which I feel is a little bit under rented. Mm -hmm. um, and then the top two, I'll be renting to students, buy a room for six hundred a room, so that's oh, eighteen hundred okay. each. So 1800 each for two rooms and so what's the total rent? I'm, I'm really total, bad at math. Total I, rent? I'm going to put on the screen. <laughs> total rent is a, just under $8,400, I believe. Okay. $8,400. Um, and then on top of that, um, another reason why I knew this project would be mm -hmm. so good is because the building next door actually is, was built by the same developer back mm -hmm. in the 1920s. And the previous owner actually th put in an illegal unit mm -hmm. upstairs in the attic. And I thought, okay, so, and he only used half the attic. So there's mm -hmm. an extra two units. So I, I know that I could add up two more units into this building and charge mm -hmm. 800 per unit. Oh, so you still have room to add uh, two I more units. Room, so, oh, yeah. got it. So it's currently eight, but you can add another two. It's currently six, but I could add another two. Oh, okay. So you're only, you're getting 8,400 8, just yeah. for 
six units six units oh got it so if you do another two units another 1600 exactly okay that's awesome that's yeah, awesome yeah. so um what's your plan like um, are you going to refinance or are you going to sell this so I, i'd rather not sell mm -hmm. because um it just makes sense that i, I you know take you use the same money that mm -hmm. i made from the previous properties i'm investing it into a bigger property mm -hmm. and put all that same money that i invested and then I bring it into another property. So I want to refine it. So okay, I, so I pretty to, much it's a burr strategy. It's a straight up burr. It's, straight, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's burr. So what's your expectations on the after repair value on this project? So the next store, which again was built by the same developer as this mm -hmm. one, uh, sold last year for seven seventy five. Yep, I was one of them bidding on it. <laughs> yeah. So so if that sold for seven seventy five, and that has all knob and tube wiring, yeah. uh, all old plumbing, mm -hmm. an old twenty seven year old boiler, yeah. And mine has a brand new boiler, brand new electrical, brand new plumbing, brand new drywall, brand new kitchen, brand new appliances, <laughs> brand new this, 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 this. The list goes on. I. I to be honest, I wouldn't let it go for less than a million. Yeah, I, I think uh, you, you're good at the numbers. Like I, you will have over a million because even the income of that property, right? It's a six year mm -hmm. building. So it's more of an income uh, based on expenses and exactly. your expenses will be way low and your income will be way high. Exactly. So it's always cap rate. Even yeah. if you do a cap rate around like 6%, that's a market cap right exactly. now, five to six for a turnkey property. Mm -hmm. I think your property, I was, I, I don't know if you remember, we were talking about these numbers before. Yeah. Uh, when I was doing my math at that time, it mm -hmm. comes around like 1.2 million. Oof. Yeah, Oof. most likely you can pull all your money out. Hopefully, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Would, that would be ideal. That would be ideal. No, that's awesome. So, mm -hmm. no, the, what you're doing is like freaking crazy, man. You, you're really inspiring for me, and also I'm pretty Thank sure you. many people can inspire from your story. Thank you so much. Um, Thank so, you. what's your future look like? What, what, what's your next plans? Next plans? So, after this, I feel like I have a deep, a truly deep understanding of the game of real estate. Mm -hmm. I understand the construction aspects, I understand the lending aspects, I understand the, the raising money aspects. Now it's it's a matter of how crazy do I want to get with it? So mm -hmm. I could, honestly, I'm not, I'm not sure. I could stay small and just do a couple houses a year mm -hmm. or I can go big and, and grab a, a, a larger multifamily. Um, but again, I'm really about doing interesting things and, and trying things that that not everybody is doing. So I'd like to get into development and, and try and make some more different kind different kinds of properties, different kinds of homes that people haven't seen before. So that's awesome. I, yeah. I love that. I love that mindset. What would you give a, a suggestion like, you know, for kids, especially younger generation who are watching, if, if yeah. someone who is watching like your age, what would you yeah. recommend them? Like, would you suggest them to come into real estate or just say stay away? It's freaking hard. So many mistakes. I'd say just um, do it. Honestly, do it. There's no, there's honestly. Just do it, Nike. <laughs> just, like, it, if you're okay with working and, and collecting your, your, your paychecks every two weeks, that is 100%. Like, that's cool. Like, some people need that. And I can honestly, after doing this building, I, can, I truly can feel why someone would want that. There's less risk. There's less this. There's less that. There are a lot of advantages to it. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if you feel like that's not good for you and it's not something that you can do for the rest of your life, then the sooner you take action, the more you'll learn. Just jump in, build your parachute on the way down and, and you, you will figure it out. Honestly, you will figure it Love out. Love that. Yeah. You will oh. figure it out. Yeah. A lot of people have done this in the past. Um, thousands of people do this every single day. So everything that has been done up to this time was done by humans, but done by people like you and I, so there's no reason why we can't do the same thing or we can't do it even better. Yeah, no, the, I, I really love the, just jump and open your parachute then. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you can prepare before, that's awesome. But course, you know, yeah, yeah. It, but that, that's the way, even like, you know, that, that's how I got in like real estate. Mm. I started buying, I didn't know anyone like, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Thank you so much. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to, you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful career before yeah, and you're going to face so many challenges too, <laughs> but take care, man. Thank take you it easy. so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching guys. And if you want to get hold of Amr, you know, to, you know, grab a coffee or learn from him, I'm going to put his, uh, Social media, if you sure, don't mind. Yeah, 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 maybe Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Facebook, are you Facebook, active? Yeah, Facebook. So, Facebook. yeah, I'm gonna put his uh, Facebook link here. So, reach out to him, get some suggestions. Man, get out and jump out and 
open up your paraglide <laughs> yeah, <that's, that's>, that's, <laughs> take yeah. care guys